dedicated to Mr. Pence. <laughs> Florida Hotel Room. Falling between two single beds with a heart on, he says something really corny, and I think I should write that down because he's a poem I'm always about to forget. I don't believe in letting go of your best art to the heavens. I believe in strangling every word that lays hot and sticky in my little girl hand that's ten years older than his, and we can't have sex right now. I've got deep holes closing after we both decided not to have the baby. This poem has crept into my life. He buys me dinner a lot. He makes me coffee with condensed milk a lot. He hopes he'll spend a lifetime tear down my Berlin Wall a lot. He wants that empty, deep space inside me to pour out all the empty feelings I'm not sure I want again. Avoid the saccharine sentiments. Just say this poem's name out loud. Say it real. He is utterly without pretense. Just a sad legacy of a dead father and a lonely time I had with living parents. Neither of us wanted our child to grow up a broken heart like we did. So, I let this poem sleep off a heart on no sex, both of us fearing the whole night, a zillion words pounding against the former home of a baby we're not having. Nowhere else to go but here, slip into his sleeping shirt, stand on the rug, and stretch myself into the sea of younger women's bodies he swims through every day. But mostly, I just want to smell him on me when I say, good morning, God. The gate is open, and all the angels are waving me through telling me there is no end to this poem. Just hope. Wow, that's Thank you. beautiful.